Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader, coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. <clears throat> for all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information in the description box. And let's get into this. I almost forgot my, <laughs> been going so long, I almost forgot my, my little intro. What's the, what's the energy around Gemini today? What is the energy around Gemini today? What is the energy around Gemini today? Transformation, rejoice and celebration. Okay, uh oh. So rest and rejuvenation and crown chakra. Hmm. Somebody could be meditating or use some meditation right now. Okay, that rest and rejuvenation came out around crown chakra. Um, so, so some of you guys could benefit from meditation, I feel like. Okay, um, some of you guys would could you know what some of you guys the bottom of the deck stand your ground some of you guys have been manifesting using affirmation which is what i teach here um and some of you need to stand on those affirmations <clears throat> you may not be seeing movement in the 3d but i feel like you need to stand on those affirmations okay um or stand your ground on those affirmations seven 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 may be um significant to you um Trying to pick these cards up, y'all. Sorry, these nails. That's why I don't wear them. Um, some of you guys could use a rest or rest your mind. I'm seeing eight of swords in my third eye. So some of you guys could have some thoughts that aren't beneficial to you on autopilot that you need to um, attend to. Some of you guys need to rest your mind. I want to know about that. <clears throat> Obama, deck of this deck, high priestess. Some of you guys are manifesting, though. <clears throat> Definitely. Clarify this crown shocker and rest and reach. Okay. Some of you might, some of you may, may be trying to get pregnant and you're not seeing any movement there. Okay. Some of you may deal with infertility issues. <clears throat> some of you may deal with infertility issues. Eight of cups, ten of pentacles, magician. So some of you, okay. Some of you guys are manifesting one marriage and children. Okay. And I feel like some of you guys are about to walk away and give up on it because you don't see it happening. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, at the bottom of this deck. Wow, the message is so clear. The bottom of this deck. This is about standing firm. Okay. This is about standing firm. Did I say I saw this in my mind's eye? Did I say I saw that in my third, in my 3D, my third eye? Um, so some of you guys have been manifesting or trying to manifest marriage and children. And I feel like you're about to give up and walk away from that, from that. Okay. Because you don't see any movement. Okay. I feel like some of you guys may have dealt with infertility issues. And so you just, you may think that that, that just can't happen for you. I feel like you may need to take a break. Okay. You may need, need to take a break, maybe a day or two, but still, so don't, when I say take a break, I mean, you know, take a break from the affirmation, 
but still don't be thinking negative about your situation just back off from affirming so much okay um but still keep a healthy mental diet around that situation um this is also saying to stand your ground and release okay so once again look at this three of cups that's this right here yeah some of y'all are stressed out because of the stagnation because of the stagnation okay with this eight of wands in reverse sagittarius energy nine of swords gemini energy three of cups some of you guys are are manifesting like i said some kind of reconciliation and or so, so uh, some kind of reconciliation of a family okay whether it's your you know blood relation family or a family where there's children involved and a spouse okay but i feel like you need to let go of those negative thoughts release those negative thoughts eight, eight, eight of swords in reverse gemini energy stand your ground on the positive nine of wands sagittarius energy very clear message right there very clear <clears throat> you got the magician out here gemini virgo energy ten of pentacles virgo energy scorpio energy with that eight of cups okay. clarify rejoicing and celebration no we're gonna start no 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 we, no to clarify transformation we're gonna start right to left i don't know why i always do that <clears throat> or left to right i mean clarify transformation so to me this is the death card in tarot clarify transformation what's this transformation wow so a situation so i so this is the thing i feel like you need to be patient okay i feel like you need to be patient you're in this very much in this energy of just being upset and heartbroken over whatever have whatever this situation is is referring to you're in deep grief about it okay five of pentacles taurus energy three of swords libra energy to me this is a love situation that i'm talking about and it involved a third party so your person may have cheated in some way and i feel like you're waiting on transformation or you're trying to manifest transformation of this relationship and i feel like you don't see the movement yet okay you got to be patient it's coming with that death coming out on top of death there's definitely transformation here okay scorpio energy there's definite transformation here every time you say an affirmation you are changing things you're changing things you just got to keep keep at it keep at it keep at it keep at it until you see it okay um i feel like patience is needed here temperance energy patience <clears throat> sagittarius energy there so. some of y'all get too impatient yeah Nine of Cups. There is transformation coming in this relationship. There will be an offer coming in this relationship. Things will turn out in your favor. Okay. That's what be one of my. Hmm. Things will turn out in your favor with this Emperor. Six of Cups behind that. This, this is somebody that you've already dealt with. Okay. Things will. Things will go in your favor. That would be one of my affirmations. Every, three affirmations I say every morning. Everything in my life is perfect. I always get what I want. Sometimes I add easily at the end. Um, and everything always works out in my favor. Those are three affirmations that I say every day. Okay. Clarify, rejoice, and celebration. <clears throat> that Knight of Cups, Pisces, Aquarius energy. Okay. Okay. So I feel like, once again, you're trying to hold on to something. You're trying to be strong about this situation. Like I said, this is something that you want to reconcile. This, this is something in the past that didn't grow. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy, Strength card, Leo energy. Um, so it, made, it, it, it didn't grow to its full potential in the past, okay? But I feel like you're trying to transform that with affirmation. <clears throat> Could be with this King of Wands energy yeah you no longer want to so one of two things you no longer want to be single from this person or this is somebody who you may have been financially dependent on okay with this king of wands leo cancer energy nine of pentacles in reverse virgo energy okay 
Also, you may have made yourself single from this person and stopped talking to this person. Yeah. Over some kind of betrayal here. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, there definitely was a third party issue here with this person. Clarify King of Wands and Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> okay. There goes the Emperor. So I'm so I'm feeling like you're trying to reconcile with this energy, or you want this, you want to reconcile with this energy. Nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, you want a relationship with this person. Look at that bottom of the deck again. Things will go in your favor. Patience, grasshopper. Patience, grasshopper. Let's get an angel message. Things will go in your favor because you said so. That's how that works. I get everything that I want easily because I said so. Okay. No. Eight of Swords in reverse, Knight of Wands. So this is basically saying when I look at this, this high priestess is somebody who's manifesting. So I feel like you're actively manifesting this, but but you're staying stuck. You have not released. You have not released the old story about this person. So I feel like the story about this person was that they're promiscuous with this Knight of Wands. You, as long as you stay in this old story, this other stuff won't manifest. So this is basically saying, no, what you're doing now will, won't give you the results that you're looking for because you're still stuck here. Okay, You're going to have to release the old story about this person and create a new story about this person and stay in the new story, okay? Stay in the affirmations that you have about this person. This person loves me and only me. This person wants me and only me. We are in a loyal, faithful, committed relationship. I am the only person he's ever been, been with, whatever. You can assume, nobody can tell you what to assume about your person and this relationship, okay? Nobody can tell you what to assume. So Gemini, I hope this re reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.